There was once a man who grew up in a kingdom, who had everything he could ever ask for. He was also set to rule the world. But after witnessing different types of suffering, in the form of a poor man, a sick man and a dead corpse, he decided to set out and leave all of it behind. He wanted to understand the truth of life. And so as he set out, he put himself voluntarily into self-isolation and solitude. And then after that, he became enlightened and realized the divine truth. He once quoted that peace is found within. Do not seek it without. This person we know as the Buddha. There was once another person who grew up being a carpenter. And from the ages of 12 to 29, there were no records of what he has done. But most certainly when he came back, there were many records of different miracles. Suddenly he was able to cure the blind and revive the dead. This man once quoted that the kingdom of heaven is within. We know him today as Jesus. There was once another person who grew up an orphan and as he grew older became one of the most skilled tradesmen and very involved in the different businesses within society. However, at times he would decide to leave society behind and isolate himself within a cave for days and weeks on end until one time he received a revelation. He once quoted that he who knows himself knows his Lord. This man we know today as Prophet Muhammad. But many of you may not be inclined to take any form of inspiration or lessons from religious figures for whatever reason. So we will also share with you other individuals who have revolutionized the world of science and art as we know it today. There was this one man who would isolate himself for days and weeks on end to perfect his craft, his inventions, engineering, his science, art and literature and who has revolutionized the way we see the world today in the eyes of science. He once had a quote that the noblest pleasure is the joy of understanding. This man we know today as Leonardo da Vinci. And then last but not least, there is a man who we also know. He once said that outer change begins with the inner change of attitude. This man we know today as Einstein. Now I have a question for you. Amongst all of these individuals who are hundreds to thousands of years apart, what patterns do you see? What commonalities do you see in the lives that they have lived and in the truths and discoveries that they have brought into this world? Even though there are many, I will highlight two of those. The first being that they all had an affinity to encouraging others to understand ourselves from within, which then leads on to their habits and their actions and how they lived their life, which projects why they would say and encourage people to look within initially. And that is the fact that they all weren't afraid to spend time alone. They all encouraged themselves voluntarily and sometimes involuntarily, which came as a blessing to spend time alone and to discover themselves to discover revelations, ideas, inventions, inspirations that they then expressed into the world which has really changed the world in a dramatic way that we live in today. Most of the world is now under quarantine because of the coronavirus or COVID-19. A lot of us are suffering and a lot of us are going through very tough times. But for many of us who aren't affected, who find themselves being bored, who find themselves being confused and who are struggling to spend time on their own, perhaps this is a blessing for us to go inward and to understand ourselves on a deeper level. After all, once we are lost, we have the opportunity to find ourselves. Perhaps we 
have the opportunity to now discover that which we have always wanted to discover without knowing that we were trying to discover it. Perhaps this is our call to invent this thing or execute this idea that we've always had. Perhaps this is our opportunity to now work through the ideas and the questions about the world that we've been putting off all of this time. It is truly in isolation and in solitude that the most beautiful and the most inspiring ideas that have revolutionized the world have come about. And it only makes sense. We all know the saying that you are the average of the five people you hang around with. And it makes sense because you are constantly within the same pool of ideas, within the same pool of gossiping, within the same pool of expression. Whereas if we isolate ourselves away from society, we, were, we are taking ourselves away from the filter of society's projections, ideas and over influence upon our inspiration, upon what we are coming up with from within. So whatever it is that you've been wanting to do for a very, very long time, this is your chance to do it, to execute it and push it out into the world. I'm doing this today. I'm sharing this with you because it is my passion to inspire you. Now I will leave you with a question. Which individual or historic figure in the past has inspired you? And share some of their quotes that you like the most with us. Thank you for watching and see you next week.